Habadabadou Today's story is The Astronaut Naughty Baddies. Once there were four naughty naughty baddies. One, two, three, four, and each one was as naughty as the next. One mischief-making morning, the naughty naughty baddies were creeping about, creep, 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 when they spotted something that made them come to a sudden, excited stop. Can you prove that alien life actually exists? You can, then come to the President's Palace to claim your toy-tastic reward. The naughty naughty baddies gave wicked grins, and quick as a flash, a madcap plan formed in their villainous heads. We could jump on our space hoppers, said one. Boing, boing, boing. Then climb into our Badmobile, suggested two. Whoosh! Steal a space rocket, thought three. Then blast off at super naughty speed all the way to the moon. Kerzoom! The last and final part of their diabolical plan involved capturing some aliens and claiming the fantabulous prize. But hmm, said Four, just as they were about to boing into action. That doesn't seem quite naughty enough. Then Four arched a fiendish eyebrow and gave a <laughs> wicked laugh. Mwa ha 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 ha! For suddenly, Four had come up with the naughtiest plan in the entire universe. And best of all, it was brilliantly bonkers. We should snaffle some knitting needles. Snaffle, snaffle, snaffle. Swipe some wool. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And make some gloriously green alien costumes. Knit, knit, knit. Then, we should disappear down a drain. Whee! Climb up the palace wall. Climb, climb, climb. And hoodwink the president with our mind-boggling disguises. In three clicks of a knitting needle, the dastardly plan was underway. And at exactly four minutes past snack time, the naughty, naughty baddies landed in the president's bedroom. Are you sure these are real aliens? Frowned the president. Because Mr. Snugglehugs here thinks they look slightly homemade. Of course they're real, said Four. They even have weird woolly tentacles. Look! The three green buttoned aliens wiggled and jiggled their weird woolly tentacles with extraterrestrial glee. Tee hee! What naughty, naughty aliens! Well, gasped the president after giving it some weird woolly thought. I suppose these creatures do look totally out of this world. Follow me. The president led them down to the deep dark depths of the presidential palace, where he revealed the most fantabulous reward ever. More toys than the naughty naughty baddies had seen in their whole villainous lives. It was the moment our four fiendish fraudsters had been waiting for. Yippee! Well, those naughty, naughty baddies couldn't help themselves. Grab, grab, grab. One grabbed some roller skates. Crash! Two grabbed a chemistry set. Kaboom! But oh dear, three grabbed something that three should not have grabbed. Some dangling threads. Whirl, twirl, whirly whirl. Suddenly, the naughty, naughty baddies' brilliant plan began to unravel right before their very eyes. Until... Oops, they were completely undone. Fakes, shrieked the president. Fake aliens. Mr. Snugglehugs was right all along. Then without further ado, 
the president announced a truly terrible punishment for those naughty, naughty baddies. You shall put back all the toys exactly as you found them, he scowled, and go home totally rewardless. Drat and double drat. The naughty, naughty baddies hated tidying up and losing out. But to everyone's shock and surprise, the naughty, naughty baddies did put away the president's toys, though it took them a long, grumbly time. Moan, groan, moany, groan. But they didn't go home completely empty-handed, for just as the president was getting ready for bed, a loud, weeping wail rang through the night. Boo! Where's my sweet, sweet Mr. Snuggle came the panicked cry. I just can't sleep without him! <laughs>